Geometry – Describing 2D Shapes We can describe shapes in different ways. This is a triangle. It has three sides. This is a circle. It's round and all the points on the curved line are the same distance from the centre. A square. It has four sides that are all the same length. And a rectangle. It has four sides and two sides are different lengths. 2D shapes fit into groups. Quadrilaterals are 2D shapes with four sides. A square, it has four equal length sides and four right angles. A rectangle, it has two pairs of equal length sides and four right angles. A parallelogram, this has two pairs of equal length parallel sides. There are also quadrilaterals. A rhombus, this is four equal length sides. A square is a rhombus, but a rhombus might not be a square. Like above, it might be a squashed square. A kite, it has two pairs of equal length sides, but these are not parallel. Or a trapezium, this has one pair of parallel sides and one pair of equal length sides. There are three different types of triangle grouped by the length of the sides. We use these marks to show that they are equal length sides. This is an equilateral triangle and all three sides are the same length. All three angles are also the same size. They're all 60 degrees. This is an isosceles triangle and two of the sides are the same length. The two opposite angles are also the same size. We can call them A here. This is a scalene triangle. It has no sides that are the same length and the internal angles are all different. Closed 2D shapes with at least three straight sides are called polygons. Regular polygons have the same length sides. An equilateral triangle with three edges and vertices. A square with four edges and vertices. A pentagon with five edges and vertices. A hexagon has six edges and vertices. A heptagon has seven edges and vertices. An octagon has eight edges and vertices. A nonagon has nine edges and vertices. And a decagon has ten edges and vertices. After a square, shapes end in a gon, meaning a polygon. Irregular polygons have different length sides such as a scalene triangle, or a parallelogram, or a trapezium. Any closed shape made of straight, different length lines is an irregular polygon. Shapes can also be described based on their internal angles. Acute angles are less than 90 degrees. This is one in a kite. And here, in a parallelogram. And here, in a triangle. Right angles equal 90 degrees. Here, in a square, a small square in the corner shows that it's a right angle. Here's one in a rectangle. And here's one in a right angle triangle. Obtuse angles are more than 90 degrees. Like this one in the kite or this angle in the parallelogram or this angle in the trapezium. There are three different types of triangle grouped by the size of the internal angles. First, there's a right angle triangle and this has one right angle that is 90 degrees. The small square in the corner shows that it's a right angle. An acute angle triangle has all three angles that are acute or less than 90 degrees. 
and an obtuse angle triangle has one angle, here it's angle A, that is obtuse or more than 90 degrees. Which of these statements are not true for a square? Let's look at them. Parallelogram. A parallelogram has two pairs of equal length parallel sides. Yes, that's true of a square. A rhombus. A rhombus has four equal length sides. That's true of a square. A trapezium. A trapezium has one pair of parallel sides and one pair of equal length sides. That's not true of a square. Right angle. A square has a right angle. In fact, it has four, so that's true of a square. Quadrilateral has four sides. That's true of a square. Irregular polygon. An irregular polygon has sides of different lengths, so that's not true of a square. The statements that are not true are trapezium and irregular polygon. Remember, shapes can be described by the groups they belong to, such as quadrilaterals or polygons, and a shape can belong to more than one group. They can be described by the number of edges and vertices. They can be described by their internal angles. They can be described as regular, if the lengths of the side are the same, or irregular, if they are not.